G'day guys, Matt from Results Gym. Welcome to another workout of the week. We've got six exercises on the cards today, guys, as opposed to our normal five. So we've got the sled, uh, pull-ups, TRX, they're a given. A um, couple of core exercises, guys, med ball, chest to toes, ab cycles, some side steps, some animal push-ups, everything that's gonna keep that heart rate up for your 20 minute workout of the week, 20 minute AMRAP today. Um, all right, guys, so remember with the sled, if it's half your body weight, that's what you need to put on. I'm doing it with Chris and Anthony today, so we're all around about that 80 kilo mark. So it's easy, we just chuck on 40 and off we go. Remember with the sled, guys, all the way up to the end is one repetition, and then all the way back down is two. You only need to do two, regardless of which one you use. All right, push-ups, TRX. So set up your systems, guys, whatever you're going to use. Um, if you're just using the bar, if you're strong enough, that's fine. If you need to use um, any bands for some assistance, either put your foot through or your knee, okay, up, and it'll just make it that a little bit more, a little bit more easy. That's what happens when you straighten your leg too early. Um, if you're going to use TR exercise, which a lot of people do, because it's quite challenging to get all those um, exercises out, the lower you go, the harder it is. Biggest focus, guys, is to keep that core nice and strong, locked in. If you need to come back in a little bit, if it's getting a little bit more challenging, okay, do so. Keep the core nice and strong. Med ball, chest and toes. So grab yourselves med balls, I'll be over there. Um, I think we've got about, I think we've got the eight, nine, and ten out today. We can swap them around as we go if we need to. Feet up, try to keep them relatively straight. We want to be working the hamstrings as well, getting a little bit of hamstring flexibility. Um, starts down at the chest coming up and just touching your toes, okay? If you can, if you can't touch your toes, essentially you're extending and you're just going for that little bit of a crunch at the top, okay? Then bring it down to the chest, um, each one. After you've done that one, guys, bench side step, okay? We've set these up on the second level today, so it's the medium level, so it's not too short. Um, with the bench side steps, guys, every time you'll say over this side is one, so it's one, two, three, four, both sides is one. Um, the alternate is just to do this. If you're a little bit uncomfortable about going both at the same time, okay, just step up on it. A um, little bit more safer, especially if you've had any ankle injuries before. After that one, guys, animal push-ups. Remember, these are located over in the white uh, cabinets over there. We've got our three toys out. Uh, hands just in front. I'm using Kevin Crocodile today. Remember, if it doesn't squeak, it's not a push-up. So that's not a push-up. It looks like a push-up, it sort of feels like a push-up, but Kevin says it ain't a push-up. That's a push-up. Okay, getting it. Alternate guys, down on the knees, okay, um, whatever you think you're capable of. And the last one guys, ab cycles. So with the ab cycles guys, try to extend those legs fully, okay, just pretend you're riding a bike, both sides is one. So one, two, three, four, big one with this guys, really rotate, look over there. Look over there, rotate. Don't just keep your, your arms going that way. Um, the more you look, the more you're gonna work the transverse abdominals. Cruise through, guys. Get through as many laps as you can. Put your score on the board. Awesome.